Psalms 23 is perhaps one of the best known and by far the greatest used passage of passage of scripture in all of the Bible. We've learned Psalms 23, we've memorized it from our childhood, but very few of us have ever studied Psalms 23 from a stress management standpoint. I want to introduce you to the subject of stress this morning because Psalms 23 is really a biblically based survival guide for stress management. It's all in understanding Psalms 23 and verse number one. You know it from memory. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Stress management is about understanding this idea of want. Want is what you get when you don't have the Lord as your shepherd. Definitionally, stress is the gap between the demands on us and the strength we have to meet those demands. In other words, we have stress when we have things that come up against us and we don't have the resources to take care of them. But you really don't have to worry about your resources when God is your source. So there are seven categories of stress. As we discuss stress, as we come to understand what stress is about, you can put everything that you call your stressors into one of seven categories. The first one is what we call time stress. You know, that has to do with your scheduling, the demands on your time, the priority of what you think is important. And stress usually comes when you are running late for something, not meeting your deadlines. In counseling psychology, we would call that time stress. The second category for stress would be anticipatory stress. You know that better as worry. It is the frustration, the aggravation that comes from worrying about things that could happen that for the most part may not even ever happen. But some of us are worry warts and we worry about things that we really ought to turn over to the Lord. Because see, there are really two things you should never, ever worry about. You should never worry about the things that you can change or the things that you can't change. But that second category for stress, we would call anticipatory stress. The third category is situational stress. It's the things that happen to us that we have no control over. So you have time stress, anticipatory stress, and situational stress. The fourth category uh, we choose to call chemical and nutritional stress. Uh, the things that we eat. Uh, when we talk about chemical stress, we automatically think about drugs, we think about alcohol, we think about crack and all of the other abuses of substance of our choosing. But stress can also come from the kind of foods that we eat. Uh, you know, our need for sugar, our, our need for chocolate. Uh, let's not even talk about uh, coffee, uh, caffeine. That is the category that we know 
as chemical or nutritional stress. And then the fifth category is what we choose to call encounter stress. That has to do with the people. You, you do know that contrary people uh, can cause stress. When you react to people, when you react to situations, uh, that is called encounter stress. So, so far we've come up with uh, time stress, uh, anticipatory stress, situational stress, chemical and nutritional stress, and encounter stress. The sixth area of stress would be environmental stress. Now we're dealing with job stress. The stress that comes from the environment that you either live in, you work in, the place uh, that you have to occupy uh, on a daily basis. But then the part of stress that probably is the weightiest and weighs the most on us, our emotions, has something to do with what we call vicarious stress. It's carrying other people's problems. You know, the whole idea is that people bring their issues to you. You know, it, well, I, I, I guess a better way of saying it is living in the valley of OPP living in the valley of other people's problems. You allow other people's problem to become your problem. They go on about their business and here you are carrying their burden. But the scripture is still correct. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Because stress is the gap between the demands on us and the strength we have to meet the demands. But what you want to take away from this session today is stress isn't really the problem. It's how we react is the problem. So how do you choose to deal with your daily stress? Hopefully this is an introduction to, to make you more curious about stress. We have a book that we've written that's called All Stressed Up and No Place to Go. It is a biblically based survival guide for stress management based on the 23rd Psalm. So you're gonna be introduced to several of these issues from this book can be purchased at Barnes & Noble or Amazon. I hope that the next time you run into a situation, you remember what stress and stressors look like. Be blessed. I'm David L. Lane with Family Empowerment Ministries located in Dallas, Texas. And you are watching the Church TV Network.